Hey friends, welcome to my commentary video on a heroic artificer Zymox kill. This is something I forgot to upload in the craziness of the launch of Castle Natria. Uh, so I only realized when someone in my comment section told me this is the only fight missing for all my commentary videos. So here we go. So this is actually honestly a very relaxing fight to tank because you don't do much as a tank. The only thing you need to know is, you know, it places a glyph of destruction on the active tank that needs to run out of the party and drop the explosion far from everyone else you blow up the entire raid um, so you see the first one going out with me here my co-tank is taunt swapping he's taunting the boss and you know running out of the portals dropping the explosion and coming back to the boss and dpsing the boss that's it it's really simple and my co-tank will then get targeted with the next glyph of destruction he will then use the portal to run out and drop his glyph of destruction um there is a slight variation in phase 2 and you guys will see me doing that in a bit uh, but essentially in phase 2 you guys would see um, the blue seeds being spawned the root of extinction being spawned in the room and how I think most raids are dealing with them is they'll place the seeds the blue seeds they'll be placed far off and the other side of the room you guys can see I'm taunting the boss over because my co tank was targeted by the glyph of destruction and you guys see like this blue seeds which was kind of badly placed because it shouldn't be anywhere near us um in any case the only variation for a tank and you guys will see this glyph of destruction coming out here um it's gonna come out of me in seven seconds time my core tank will taunt and i wouldn't take the bottle this time around and the rationale is because um oh sorry let me let me repeat so there is an overlap in phase two where you are dropping the blue seeds of extinction at let's say this corner of the room at this point in time as a tank if you're targeted by glyph of destruction you take the portal out you will instantly spawn in the middle of the blue explosions so that is really risky so for phase two anytime in phase two the safer thing to do is actually to use your mobility abilities and get out to the middle of the room here and drop your explosion because you guys can see like it doesn't really do that much rate damage as long as you get distance from your party um and that's the most important thing like that's the only variation when it comes to tanking this boss which is in phase one take the portals drop your glyph of destruction as far away from the raid as possible in phase two if you're targeted by glyph of destruction don't take the portal out because that's where all the blue seeds are being dropped you want to basically manually get out to around the middle of the room away from the explosions as you guys can see from this point where there's blue explosions you want to just get to the middle of the room as a tank and just drop your explosion there so that's the only variation and the only thing to take note of other than that just note that when you're getting out to drop your explosions there's stasis traps on the ground like this little white circles that if you run into them you will get permanently stunned unless someone breaks you out of the trap and you guys can see my hunters are clearing the traps here which is great now in phase 3 the only thing to note as a tank is that you will face this edge of annihilation ability and what this does is you'll spawn a weapon in the middle of the room that attempts to suck you in and you know if you are in anywhere in the blast radius demarcated by this circle here you will die the way to avoid this is to basically use the portal to your advantage so we place the portal here and over here so what we are trying to do is you can look at the weak aura and the countdown here and just as it's about to explode you want to get sucked in into the portal and you appear over at the other portal and the explosion goes off and that's how you not you avoid dying so track the explosion timer using a weak aura and you generally be okay um, you can also use movement abilities to counteract the uh, attempt to basically suck you into the portal well not the portal but the blast radius you guys can see me getting out um, I took the portal there <laughs> that was probably a mistake I could have just ran out it's a bit faster if I ran out manually but yeah phase 3 is pretty simple just do edge or annihilation again and you'll be completely fine Zymox is actually a really relaxing tank uh, fight because there isn't really much going on in this fight
Um, you guys can see me transcendence back to the edge of the room, which I pre-placed. It's like an oh shit button in case, like, you know, we have a very bad overlap. Um, and I needed to get out. And yeah, the boss is about to go down, you know, the rest of the fight is pretty simple. Uh, you know, my, my coal tank is being trapped, so I need to get out. Without blowing up the raid at the last second. He couldn't taunt for me there. But yeah, the boss is about to go down. It's a kind of messy ending to the fight. But you guys get the idea about this fight. Uh, as a tank, just get out of Glyph of Destruction. And it'll be really simple. So anyway, guys, I hope the video was helpful. And if it was, do subscribe to my channel. I publish daily Shadowlands content on this channel. If you want my user interface and my Weekora, you can download them in the description below. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you in the next video.